figuras en Inglaterra, los mensajes, me parece que estos también mensajes, la cruz que aparece en el cielo, ah, recuerda todo lo último y ve que extraordinario, excepcional es, quizá por ello ahora mi conferencia me la están solicitando ya de todo el mundo. Pues yo... Τον οποίο έχει πιάσει κάμερα εντελώ τυχαία και βεβαίω το βίντεο κυκλοφόρησε. Παρακαλώ να το δούμε. Λοιπόν, αν μπορούσαμε να το δούμε από πιο κοντά, παρακαλώ, να γυρίσουμε πίσω το πλάνο να μπορέσουμε να το δούμε από κοντά τον Γκριδούλο, έτσι, έτσι, να τους. Ακόμα ένας Γκριδούλος, πώς παρουσιάζονται, με τα μεγάλα κεφάλια, τα μεγάλα τρίγωνα μαύρα μάτια κτλ. Έτσι είναι τριών ή τεσσάρων διαφορετικών ειδών. Αυτά οι παλιοί τα ονόμαζαν καλικάντζαρους. Θεωρηταστείο, είναι γελίο, ε, αγαπητοί φίλοι, είναι πραγματικότητα. The Bible specifically warns us that, in the last days, demonic deceptions will increase. The Bible tells us that, Satan's fallen angels, were responsible for corrupting all of humanity, prior to the Great Flood, except for Noah, and his family. Genesis 6.1 And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, And daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God, fallen angels, saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives, of all which they chose. When the sons of God, fallen angels, came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became, mighty men which were of old, men of renown. According to the Bible, Jude 1 6, 7, prior to the flood, certain demonic beings, not only possessed human beings, they somehow, acquired non-human, but fully functioning fleshly bodies to use themselves, and had sexual intercourse with mankind. The result was apparently, a race of half-human monsters, called the Nephilim, the Anakim, Goliath and his brothers, may have been of the Anakim. Also, the Enim, the Horum, the Adam, and others. This is what the Bible refers to, in Genesis 6-4, 8. No way. Oh, spaceship. Holy <laughs> is dead. Holy It's a spaceship, Mike. I know it. It's a no way. It's not a spaceship. Holy is dead. Holy guys, I'm zoomed in. It's a spaceship. What is this a close encounter of the fifth kind? It's a spaceship. This time, even the experts aren't sure. What I saw on the film looked a lot like what many people have described. And copies of this videotape began to circulate among UFO enthusiasts. It begins with a birthday party, obviously shot on home video. But then, the party takes a strange turn. A power outage and a flash of light cause the men to investigate an apparent plane crash on the other side of the hill. It's a spaceship, Mike. I know it is. It's a no way. It's not a spaceship. Holy is dead. Holy guys, I'm zoomed in. It's a spaceship. Moments later, the UFO's occupants emerge. For 60 terrifying minutes, the panic-stricken family fights off the invading aliens. The home video ends abruptly as the aliens enter the family's home and apparently abduct them. When I first ran across the tape, I was invited over to a friend's house who said he had a very interesting UFO abduction tape. Tom Dongo is a top UFO researcher and author based in Sedona, Arizona. He believed the tape was genuine. I was stunned, shocked by what I saw. I felt that the tape might be real because it, it fit in very well with so many uh, UFO alien incidences that I know of. It, it fit very well, in fact, almost too well. I thought no one could fake something like that. 
After spending three months checking with UFO researchers worldwide, Dongo was unable to find anyone else who had seen the video, and he was unable to locate another copy. It began to seem even more obvious to me that possibly it was an entirely authentic video, and someone, uh, namely possibly the government, was trying to uh, grab all the copies uh, that were out there. I have been studying UFOs for 42 years, and I've got a pretty good track record. Retired U.S. Army Colonel Don Ware spent his career working closely with military intelligence. I thought that it did not have the appearance of being a scripted production because everybody was talking at the same time and you couldn't understand half of what they said. They gotta come through the house to find him, okay? Well, when that gives us five, come through the house to find him. The people on camera did express a great deal of emotion. If they were actors, they ought to get an Oscar or an Emmy. Perhaps the most controversial aspect of the video was the appearance of the aliens. I have not seen a real alien, so I don't presume to know what a real alien looks like. What I saw on film looked a lot like what many people have described to me that they have seen on board alien vehicles. In the one sequence where uh, I believe it's uh, Jason that's, that's carrying the supposedly dead alien in, I took photographs of each uh, frame. And in one frame, the eye of the alien is sunken in. When I was at the International UFO Congress, there was a man standing over my shoulder as I was going through these prints, and he said, I have seen dead aliens, and that's exactly what happens. When they're dead, their eye gets concave. Like the UFO manifestations seem to be, by and large, merely minor variations of the age-old demonological phenomena, John A. Keel, UFO, Operation Trojan Horse. The UFO beings of today, belong to the same class of manifestation, as the occult entities that, were described in centuries past. Dr. Jocks Valley. <laughs> Major sighting here on the 13th of March. Weird happenings in the skies over Phoenix recently. And no one seems to be able to explain what it was. And now... Suddenly six amber orbs in a row, totally equidistant from each other, massive span across, pop up. People say they saw strange lights. A series of strange bright lights seen over the skies of Arizona gets a lot of people wondering what the heck they... There's going to be a time where they're not going to be able to hide it anymore. The availability of witnesses was extraordinary. There are another 10,000 Arizonans who saw the same thing. Eyewitnesses who saw it say it's like nothing they've ever seen before. Many investigators call it the largest sighting ever, lasting the longest amount of time seen by the largest number of people. The data speaks for itself. Plus, I have photographs that cannot be explained or denied. Last night, shortly after 8 p.m., hundreds, maybe thousands of Arizonans reported seeing a triangular-shaped object with three to thousands of people saw more than stars in the night sky. The mystery remains unsolved and controversial. There was nothing there but blackness and these three amber orbs. The top orb started to dim as if on a dimmer switch. It didn't budge at all. The people who saw the lights will say the lights were orange, they were bright, and they were big, and they were like nothing they've ever seen before. And there's been no official explanation. This didn't look like anything I'd ever seen in my life. I don't believe they're flare. I don't believe they're conventional aircraft. I don't believe they're the 